Right, what's going on guys? So today I'm bringing you guys a new video, something that I haven't really done on the channel before, but I did a poll on Twitter and um, they absolutely smashed this one. They, they really wanted this, so I think coming up to Team of the Year, everyone's kind of wanting to know what the most meta team on FIFA 21 is, so that is what I'm bringing you. Uh, at the time I didn't set a budget, but I'm setting it around 500k, I feel like that's a realistic budget for everyone. And um, I also think that's maybe a budget that maybe the higher spenders might want to spend, like keep on, so they have coins available for Team of the Year as well. Um, yeah, so like, like I said, I do a polls on Twitter every day of what video they want for the next day. So if you want to be involved in that, obviously vote in the poll on Twitter. Come drop me a follow. Uh, I'm very active on Twitter. It's where I, you can get, get in touch with me the most. So why not? Um, yeah, so if you obviously if, if you enjoy the video, drop a like. It helps, obviously. It really, really helps me. You don't understand. Uh, drop a comment if you like the video as well. In, and just tell me what I can improve on or what videos you want in the future. Uh, just let me know and I'm, I reply to every comment on YouTube so even if you just have a question about the game drop me a comment and I'll answer it there um, yeah turn the notification bell on and drop a sub I think we're only something like 30 something subs away from a thousand which considering the amount of videos we've uploaded on this channel is absolutely crazy you guys have absolutely been smashing it so the more you guys are supporting obviously the more it's the more I'm putting the content out because you guys are really enjoying it so like I said we are doing the best meta team on FIFA 21 so obviously this guy isn't in the team. Um, <laughs> this is just just so you guys can see the full team, because I know some of you like to just skip to the end and see the whole thing. All right, so we're doing it one by one. All right, I, I know what you guys are like. Right, so what I've done as well, this team isn't. I've set this team out on how I'd play it in game, and then I'll show you guys how to set it up for chemistry at the end. Okay, so goalie Nick Pope, obviously ridiculously overpowered very like he's the he's the best cheap goalie on the game uh so it works with this budget i don't think you need to spend too much on a goalie unless you have a very expensive team nick pope always does a really good job and the main reason i've got him in is he links to one of our center backs for chemistry so that is why he is in the team um nelson Semedo, by far the best value right back on the game absolutely incredible um it's just medium highs perfect work rates uh force our skills 92 pace it's just incredible stats. 82 dribbling is really nice, actually, in, try, in terms of trying to play your way out at the back as well. So, yeah, obviously the most meta right back on the game and the best value for money on the game, I think. So that's why we've got Nelson Semedo in. Obviously, Joe Gomez. We all know we all know about Joe Gomez. We hate Joe Gomez in this game, don't we, lads? He is so annoying to play against on weekly league rivals. And considering he's so cheap, it's just ridiculous. Um, he has to be up there with one of the top two centre-backs, gold centre-backs on the game. Absolute pain in the arse. Uh, and I think the only one better goal centre back than him is, is in this team as well. So, trust me, when you see this bat line, we're all going to be sitting there going, ah, oh, I've played this about 100,000 times. But trust me, it's stupidly overpowered and that's why everyone's using it. Uh, but yeah, Joe Gomez, great card. Obviously, you can't go wrong at all. Um, now, this guy, Rafa Varan, I mean, the guy's an absolute animal. 82 pace, 87 defending, 82 physical, medium high, 6-3. It's just an absolute perfect goal centre back. Um... You don't, you can't really go wrong at all. He's an absolute pain in the ass. Um, and we've all just played against this before. Do you know what I mean? I have nightmares of if, when I'm running through on goal with like Ronaldo or Mbappe, and then just Varane comes out of nowhere and tackles me. Like, how the hell does that even happen? Um, yeah, the card's just absolutely ridiculous, and it's it's a card that I personally hate to play against. Um, and then we've got Ferland Mendy. Obviously, in my opinion, it's the the best left back on the game. Maybe you could argue it with the road to the final 86, Alfonso Davies. Um, but I think for value for money, this card blows him out of the water. Obviously, 92 pace, 82 physical, 78 defending, 79 dribbling, 76 passing. Great stats for an offensive left back. Four star skills and five star weak foot, which, trust me, is so, so key for a full back, in my opinion. Having that five star weak foot, it makes it so much easier to play out of the back and distribute the ball. And then high, high work rates is nice as well if you're a bit more of an offensive player like me. Um, so yeah, Mendy's absolutely incredible. And obviously that back five, I bet we've all played against it a hundred times. We all know how horrible and sweaty it is. So that's why it had to be in the team. It had to be. Right, so we've got the right mid. Now I've got Gabriel Jesus. This is one of the cards that, to be honest, I didn't want to have in the team. But I had to have him in for chemistry. Um, I, I would have preferred, and if you can get him in the team somehow, maybe like a, um, a St. Maximin. Uh, I feel like he's just as good. Well, actually, he's a lot better for the value. You get the five-star skills. But... Gabriel Jesus is good. It's not a bad card at all, and it's why I still put him in. Um, he's definitely not bad, and because he's playing on the right mid spot anyway, to be honest, he's not going to be involved that much. And for the fact that he's got high, high work rates, which will help defensively, 
87 dribbling, 85 pace, and he can shoot, and he's got four-star skills, so all the necessary stuff. So uh, nothing too crazy with this card. Obviously, he's got the 85 finishing, which is nice, and the agility and balance is also really nice. But um, he's mainly in just for chemistry, but still a good card nonetheless. Um, now, we've got one of the two centre mids, Paul Pogba, my boy. If you guys have watched the stream or follow me on Twitter, you know I'm a big Man U fan. Pogba has been absolutely killing it as of late, and um, I think he got a team of the week this week, no, no surprises. But yeah, he's I love him. I love Pogba in this game. I love having a five star skill midfielder. Um I think he's great this year. Whack a shadow on him and he's basically Hullet in my opinion. Um he he feels incredible on this. Um and for the budget, I, I tried did absolutely everything everything I could to get him in. And it worked really well with the chemistry, so I could link him to Varane and Joe Gomez. So it definitely made sense and I, you'll be able to see what I mean when I set the team up for chemistry. But yeah, nothing much more to say. You guys know how good Pogba is on this game. Um so yeah. So the next centre mid, or DM, however you want to play it, is Allen. Um, I think Allen, bar maybe Zakaria, is the best value gold CDM on the game. I think it's absolutely incredible. Um, I love using Allen on this game. Uh, the only reason, to be honest, is, is game failure is that low is because I just got an untradeable version. But um, yeah, Allen is absolutely incredible. Love him on this game. You can't go wrong at all. And to be honest, it, the re I've got him in. Well, the reason that this is the reason why I had Jesus in, so I could get Allen in. Um, and then and my uh, reason why I could get my left mid in as well, but yeah, Allen absolutely incredible. You can't go wrong. Four star skills in midfield, medium high, perfect work creation one for any defensive player in my opinion. And yeah, absolute beast. Uh, definitely can't go wrong. Uh, now you got Usman Dembele on the left wing spot. Now Usman Dembele is by far the best value for coin card on the entire game. Uh, the five star skills, five star weak for ninety two pace, eighty six dribbling, and he can shoot. Despite what his shooting stats say, he can shoot and pass. If you run a dead eye on him, he's an absolute animal. I don't know what they've done with his picture. He looks a bit strange. But um, yeah, Usain Dembele is an absolute animal and a card that you should definitely be looking at to pick up in the future. Um, absolutely crazy card. So yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with his cards. And he links to the Furlan Mendy and that's the reason why I needed Jesus in. So I could fit Usman in, who's definitely had to be in the team. Now we've got Marcus Rashford. Now these two strikers are obviously animals, but Marcus Rashford... Obviously, if you've played any foot champs or really any, any division rivals games, you would have played against Marcus Rashford. You would have known how much of a pain in the arse he is. Uh, he's just absolutely incredible in this game. Uh, you can't go wrong. 91 pace, 83 shooting, 85 dribbling, 78 passing and physical and five-star skills, four-star weak foot, high medium, 6-1. It's just the absolute perfect card, if I'm honest. Um, and he's, his price is finally kind of dropping down a bit and it's, that's the reason why I could get him in the team, to be honest. Um, and like I said, this team is all on 500k budget on PlayStation. All the players have dropped quite a lot, so you can build a really nice team for 500k now. Uh, but yeah, Rashford, absolutely incredible card. And then last but not least, Infram Zaha. Now, if you guys have used this card, you will, you'll know why he's in this team. But if you haven't, please do. The, the card feels absolutely incredible in this game. It's one of my favourite cards on the game in terms of cheaper players. Um, Wilfred Zaha is absolutely crazy. It's definitely a card that you guys should be looking to have in your teams. Uh, the five star skills, ninety two pace, eighty nine dribbling. He can. It's just like Usman Dembele. He's shooting is really good. I don't know why it says seventy eight. Uh, I think if you put a hunter on him, obviously it boosts this, those shooting stats up quite a lot. Um, and he is definitely one of the more expensive purchases in this team, but definitely needed. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, just and he was he was good for chemistry as well. So that's why he's in. So let's show you guys the full team. So this is the full team. So just like this, four four two. This is how I had it set up. And then, if you want to see how I had it, have it set it up for chemistry, it would be like that. So that is how I'd have it. Obviously, put people in the right positions. But this is how I had it set up for chemistry. I had Rashford on seven chem, but that is it. Um, an absolutely great team, and definitely a team that you guys should be looking to have in the FIFA twenty one. Um, but yeah, listen, that's been me, guys. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a comment, let me know. And uh, I'll try and upload maybe a higher price range run for you. But um, like I said, we, we're so close to hitting 1,000. So I'd really appreciate any subs. And uh, just to hit that goal is crazy, really, how much it's grown. So I appreciate you guys a lot. But um, listen, I will see you guys next time. All right, boys? Peace.